Hi everyone. This is day six and the last day of the Tiny Feet Big Steps conference. I have yet another amazing person to speak with. Hi. How Hello. Are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Could you just give us a background of who you are and how you got to know about the conference? All right. So, hello. My name is Nema Nalitole Danyan. I work at a national hospital, Wimbledon National Hospital in Dar es Salaam. And currently, I am doing my fellowship in neonatology at Mwimbili University of Health and Allied Sciences, MOHAS. So coming to this conference has been part of our uh, neonatology fellowship program. As we're entering, uh, as we're finishing our first year, going to a second year, we get to like come here and see what is happening and learning and everything. So the previous fellows of the previous group had come in the previous two years. Uh, the first group uh, two years ago, the second, second one a year ago. And this time is my time to come and visit and see what is happening and learn and everything. Yeah. Okay. So I'm here as part of my neonatology fellowship. Great. Is this sort of like a continuous professional development for the neonatal fellows? Hopefully, yes. Yeah, we hope it will like continue like this. Amazing. And how have you found it? It's amazing. Most of the things we think, okay, we know about this. We've, we've heard them before. We've learned about them. But coming here and getting to hear everything from different people, different facilities, and you realize we share the same challenges, we share the same, like, the practice is the same, everything is the same, so it's like we're speaking the same language. And, yeah, we get to, like, when we meet, we, 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 we exchange ideas, we ask each other questions, challenges that we face, and it really helps. And it feels like, okay, we are together in this. I'm not alone. I'm not struggling alone. And we all have the same goal, same objective, to save the newborn babies and improve uh, newborn care in from different parts of the like where we come from yeah it's yeah. it's quite fantastic that over 20 countries mm -hmm. met here interesting yeah like, interesting i didn't expect to see people from all different countries it's very very interesting yeah um and as this is almost the end actually it is the end of the conference the end, um yeah. what are your thoughts about how to move going forward as a fellow who's visited this conference how to move going forward, um, to take all the learning points that we've got from the lectures, from the workshops, from talking to one another, because we've not only learned from the lectures and the workshops, but from, you know, mingling uh, the friends that we've met. I've met quite a lot of friends from different places, from Zambia, from Kenya, Uganda, and everywhere else. And I have learned, I must say, I've learned a lot from each and every one of the people that I've met. We've exchanged contacts. We have agreed to share um, cases, research ideas, and all those, take those as learning points apart from the lectures and the workshop. And of course, the lectures were amazing. Um, so it has been quite a one week journey and an interesting one. Great. Yes. To touch on something you mentioned, you said yeah. research. Um, yeah. Is there any research that, firstly, you're interested in mm -hmm. pursuing? And are you already on the track to that? Yeah. So, like, okay, one thing I've learned in being a neonatology, I mean, you have a lot of places to do research. It's, it's like, you know, a lot of areas that you can research on in neonatology. So as part of my neonatology fellowship program, I am supposed to do a quality improvement project. And that is what I'm into right now, mm -hmm. my QI. And I am particularly interested in neonatal sepsis. Mm -hmm. And that's the area that I'm working with uh, as part of my QIP currently. We've, um, we've heard from the lectures from everywhere how sepsis is a, like a very important topic. It's a challenge for so many people, many facilities um, all over the world. Everybody's talking about sepsis. How can we improve? How can we reduce the uh, rate of sepsis in the unit? So I am currently like basically doing quality improvement uh, project on that area and see how I can improve the rates of 
sepsis in terms of how to properly diagnose it, not overdiagnosing it because we don't want to like treat it irrationally. We want to give antibiotics when necessary. So we need to know uh, what are the septic risk factors, what are the indicators. Is this baby really septic? Is the baby having a risk of sepsis or not? So that is the area where I'm working on to like properly diagnose it and properly treat it. Not to over treat and not to miss. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. this this has truly been like another um networking point to also mm-hmm. like touch base with other professionals uh, on the research that you're doing. Yes, yes, yes. And I think Taking care of the patients, taking care of the babies. It's not only about uh, giving drugs or doing procedures. Research is like very, very important if you want to improve care. We need to come up with new things. Medicine is growing each and every day. So we need to improve care uh, through good practices, but also also through research. Yeah. Great. Um, and before we wrap up, what do you think are the key takeaways from you as a neonatal fellow as you return to your facility? Yeah. So um, a friend once told me that it would be very wrong for a neonatologist to think that we can work, work alone and save the neonates as neonatologists. Mm-hmm. Like, we shouldn't think that we are the most needed ones, we are the most important ones, we should work as a team. So my my take-home message and something that I always insist is teamwork. Teamwork, neonatologists, pediatrician, neonatal nurses, anybody in the field is important on their own way. So I would encourage each and everyone to, like, see the importance of teamwork. I have seen the importance of teamwork. I can never do this alone. I can never treat babies alone. Even in my unit, my NICU, I can never do this alone. I have my attending, but I also have my nurses to help me. I have my residents to help me. I have my interns. So I think each and everybody has their own importance and I respect each each and everybody from the highest to the lowest uh, level, each is important in saving the babies. Yes. Yeah. And one thing that's also special about this conference is that it's both for the nurses and the physicians. Yeah. Like we're all yeah. learning together, we're all interacting yeah. with each other, and we're all seeing the need for us to know more. Exactly. To better the outcomes for your needs. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for this chat. Thank I'm so you. excited to speak with a Tanzanian neonatal fellow. And yeah, just all the best as you finish your fellowship. Yeah. Hopefully you'll be able to come again next year to have a different perspective on mm-hmm. the teachings and learnings. Hopefully, yes. All right, thank you. Thank you.